Hey okay, again, YouTube. Uh, this is another uh, movie update, obviously. Uh, we'll start off with the VHS, like usual. So, uh, The Invisible Man. So, as I was saying, uh, The Invisible Man. Actually, you haven't seen this one, so I look forward to checking that one out. It's one of the Universal Monster movies that I haven't seen. Next one is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the movie, which I actually uh, just digitized this, so put it on my computer. The piece, yeah. Uh, Robotech, because I love my uh, giant robots fighting and uh, <laughs> spacecrafts fighting and all that kind of stuff. So I love that kind of stuff. Sucker for that kind of stuff. That's why I like my Zoids as well. This was actually um, factory sealed, but I opened it so I could uh, digitize it and put it on my computer. Uh, Fatal Fury, the motion picture. Which I just uh, haven't seen the tape for this one in quite a while. And the next one is a star video, which I don't think I haven't seen. I don't think I've seen any star videos in the wild before, that's why I picked this one up. The Pit and the Pendulum, so it looked kind of like it would be um, like a horror, older horror kind of movie, so I picked it up. And finally I'll show you the, uh, the uh, VHS converter that I picked up, so it's just this uh, cheapie from um, Dick Smith, so you can convert your tapes to DVDs or you can convert them to uh, digital files so I picked that up I thought it was worth it just because I'm picking up um, still picking up quite a lot of VHS so I thought it was worth it so I can uh, burn them to DVD or anything else like that if I feel like it so yeah so that was all the VHS for this video uh, we'll get on to the some more video CDs I actually went back to the same place I got the uh, last few and they had more so I picked them up obviously and I think it's a pretty sh pretty certain it's the same person because well they're <laughs> the same kind of Warner Brothers cartoon stuff again so I'm guessing it's the same person and uh, X-Men so oh, that's pretty bad glare isn't it from the windows Now, as you can see, picking up a whole bunch of DVDs, like always. Okay, so we'll jump right into the DVDs. Uh, Reservoir Dogs, Collector's Edition. Sorry about the glare, filming in a different room this time. Um, so, so a lot of these were 2 and $3 each, unless I'm saying otherwise. So, um, Sniper, which was a dollar. <laughs> Just trying to bulk up my uh, action movie collection because that's a bit lacking. That's probably one of my collections that's a bit lacking. I'm um, lacking action movies. Um, John Carpenter's They Live. This is um, an American DVD. Uh, Appleseed. It's been years since I saw this. I think I last saw it on SBS a couple of years ago. So. Thought I'd pick this up, one up again for three dollars. Uh, this one I just picked up today, uh, Reanimator, the first one. <laughs> so, as you guys saw, I picked up uh, Beyond Reanimator a long time ago. Uh, Romper Stomper, that's still uh, sealed. You guys should know about Romper Stomper if you're in Australia. <laughs> Next one was from Goodwill, uh, Nirvana, The Untold Stories. Used to be a huge Nirvana fan, still am a fan, but <laughs> I guess I was a lot bigger fan when I was in my teenage years. So, pick that one up. And Return of the Living Dead 3. Now yeah, the glare's really bad in this room, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, 
Raiders, which was uh, from a video easy for five. Uh, this was a new my next rental, so um, I heard someone talking about it on that channel, so I wanted to pick this one up and give it a watch. I enjoy it for what it is. I thought it more turned out kind of more kind of a zombie movie than an alien movie, really. But anyway, uh, Night Evelyn came out of the grave. Uh, this was six dollars from that same video store. Oop, <laughs> might not be able to show that back bit there. There's some boobs. <laughs> so I might not be able to show that bit. Um, um, next one, picked up a uh, Casablanca for a dollar. Haven't seen this since about 2007, so I thought I'd pick it up and watch it again. I mean, you know, I can't really say any more about Casablanca. <laughs> you guys should know <laughs> about Casablanca. Um, up another action movie with Norris in it, uh, Delta Force 2 for two bucks from that little thrift shop that I keep finding a lot of action movies in for really cheap, so I'm usually picking them up now. I can find them in there. Um, the Skin I Live In, which is another one on transmission. They uh, mostly do uh, released Hobo with a shotgun, I'm pretty sure. Um, this just looked like a really, like a really good movie, so. Really wanting to check that one out. Really been enjoying a lot of uh, foreign movies lately. Uh, the Forgotten. Uh, this was pretty much just a blind buy that I bought in a bunch of horror movies, so not sure what that one's going to be like. Uh, Boogeyman 2. Or Boogeyman. 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 Uh, this is the director's cut. Uh, next one was a blind buy, Hamlet 2. Uh, it was two dollars from the Goodwill. It's still uh, in the seal. Uh, I mainly just bought it because it said from the co-writers of South Park and Team America. So, I'm guessing it's going to be that kind of same style of humour for it. So, uh, then I picked up the Drive. Which is one I've been wanting to watch for quite a while. Oh, one I really enjoyed, uh, Sleepaway Camp. Actually, I really liked the ending of this one. I didn't expect that at all, <laughs> which is nice. For nice to be surprised by slasher every once in a while <laughs> that it has a good ending. Uh, this is the Anchor Bay release, so we've got a. Um, book in here, Camp Diary, which I thought was pretty, just a pretty neat um, addition to the DVD, really. Um, then I've got a double pack of Anaconda, Anacondas. <laughs> so I'll just be replacing my uh, single DVD of Anacondas that I got last video. Uh, Shank, this looked like a pretty interesting one. It's uh, in the UK where uh, Gangs have just taken over everything, so it looks pretty, looks pretty interesting. So, get that one out. Uh, Assault on Precinct 13. Sorry about the glare in this video. <laughs> it's not very good, is it? I've tried changing the angle, but it doesn't seem to help that much. So we'll just keep, <laughs> keep on going. Um, Ong Back. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, Mutai Warrior. Just another Eastern Eye, because of been enjoying these every now and again lately. Um, when the guy told me, the guy I was buying it from told me it was horrible, <laughs> so I threw it in for free with all the other stuff I was buying, uh, bats. So <laughs> that's probably going to be some good cheesy fun. Um, probably just like this next one, <laughs> which I'm not the killer tomatoes. <laughs> just looked like a crazy kind of <laughs> horror movie. Just love the cover art on that one as well, with the tomatoes bursting out of the tomato can. Uh, it's got George Clooney in it, so <laughs> that's strange. Must have been one of his uh, earlier movies, I'm guessing. Uh, next, Pan's Labyrinth. Uh, just another one I've wanted to see for quite a while. It's got the uh, got a slipcase in it, so um, kind of a 
Craig just kind of coming out of the cover a bit. <laughs> so, uh, again, this is a uh, NTSC DVD. Because I seem, seem to do this uh, barcode thing up here where they cut a bit out of the slip cover and put a barcode here. I'm not sure why that is, but I'm uh, guessing it's so they can scan it without uh, taking it out of the sleeve, maybe. Uh, one I wanted to see for quite a long time. Um, but I, I just could never find it, um, them. <laughs> so it's uh, our 50s B-grade atomic monster movie. <laughs> so it's got actually got DVD's got quite a few special features from a movie this old. I didn't think they would uh, put in the effort to do that, but that's nice. You've got a photo gallery behind the scenes. Um, yeah, that's pretty. Got some pretty good features on it <laughs> for such an old movie. Um, Oh, one that I was very happy to get, so I didn't have to pay the JB Hi-Fi price. Um, got the limited edition of 30 Days and Night. Um, this actually comes with a small um, graphic novel as well. <laughs> so that was just a nice edition. Um, and it was $3, so it was the same as what I paid for a lot of these other ones. So I was happy to get that. Um, Haunting in Connecticut. This one I've heard a lot of good things about. I wanted to check out based on true events apparently, but yeah, I don't know about that. Um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Deluxe Edition. This is just a um, nice edition that comes with a whole bunch of special features. That's pretty much why I picked it up, so I'll upgrade from my um, 25th anniversary edition to this one. Uh, Raging Bull. I shouldn't have to say anything about that one. Uh, Breaker Morant. Well, if you're Australian and you don't have this movie, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Pretty much need to have this movie if you're Australian. And, um, and then I did get oh, Boogie, Boogie Man. Sam Raimi presents Boogie Man. The scariest movie ever. <laughs> And I picked up a few umbrellas actually. This guy did have a few umbrellas, but I think I do have at least one of them on a horror collection pack, but um, I picked them up anyway, so. Uh, Asylum. So umbrellas, um, just an Aussie label, so if you guys are not from Australia, you might not know who they are, but they're pretty good here. Usually releasing uh, lots of horror and uh, cult kind of cinema stuff. So, uh, and now the screaming starts, and the beast must die. I'm pretty sure I've got this one in a horror pack that I picked up not too long ago, but it's a standalone umbrella release of it. Um, got a few from Mighty Ape as well. Um, Wreck. Actually, I haven't seen this yet. This is actually one of the uh, what are they called? Like a Cloverfield esque movies that I've actually wanted to see. I usually don't like those movies very much, but um, that one looked pretty interesting. Uh, Colin, this just looked like a kind of a more interesting take on kind of a zombie movie, so I had to pick that one up. And another umbrella, uh, Dawn of the Dead. So. We wanted to see this one for quite a long time, but just never found it. So that's a bulk of the DVDs. I think I still have a few more. Um, oh no, that's all. And then last, uh, the, uh, the Evil in the Blood box set, which I showed an unboxing of. So if you want to see more about that, you can check out that video. It's just got these five movies in a box set, pretty much. That's a blood pack, so. Alright, well that's everything for this update, hope you enjoyed, um, I'll see you, again. see you guys again next time.